What is up everybody? The Iceman here on this Saturday on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel and we are all talking about the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title. Who is going to win? It's obviously um, everybody is predicting it's going to be Roman Reigns at the Survivor Series. I think not. I think it's going to come down to Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose is going to go to Roman Reigns and say, hey, man, I know we're friends and whatnot, but this is for the, you know, the biggest thing in the world for me. And then in the match, he turns heel and he finds a way um, to defeat Roman Reigns, probably via a distraction of the Money in the Bank briefcase contract holder, Sheamus. So I see Ambrose coming out of Survivor Series as the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And I have no problem with this because I want Seth, uh, I want Roman Reigns to win this title um, in a huge match. Which it would have been huge if he defeated Seth Rollins. But now that Rollins is gone, things have changed. Now, people need to understand this. This is typical WWE mentality. And uh, I think this would be best for business. A lot of people may not agree with me. But going into WrestleMania next year, John Cena going into WrestleMania will get his 16th title reign before WrestleMania. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it. He could possibly um, have a match with uh, Sheamus and win the Money in the Bank briefcase contract. Um, he could cash it in during an Ambrose Reigns match, defeat Ambrose, and then go into Mania as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Whereas at the Rumble, Roman Reigns comes out as the Royal Rumble winner again. And this, this this time I think it would be with a good reaction. And there you would see Roman Reigns and John Cena on the biggest stage of them all. And you want to know, in, in my eyes, my opinion, uh, for Roman Reigns right now, the biggest person for him to defeat in the WWE would be John Cena. This would be like John Cena finally passing the torch. And we all know that the WWE has very, very high plans for Roman Reigns as well as Seth Rollins. Uh, but Roman Reigns right now is the guy that they're talking about. And um, this is the way to do it. You know, have Reigns defeat John Cena. And this could be a uh, face Versus face match, much like we've seen Cena have before. Like we've seen with him and uh, Daniel Bryan. Um, and it could be John Cena, after being defeated, after getting speared in the Superman punch or whatever is done by Roman Reigns, you know, getting up or Roman Reigns approaching John Cena, lifting him up, hugging, and a great, great ending to WrestleMania. I mean, that's what I would do. Uh, th that's what I would do. Um, you know, I'm a John Cena fan. I know he's going to get this 16th title reign somewhere down the road. And, you know, a lot of people are very unhappy over it. But like I said in the past, Ric Flair has worked with many different promotions, wrestling promotions. John Cena has been only solely with the WWE. And um, love him hate him, or whatever. The man, you know, now that he's at 15, he deserves that 16th. And what better way to really make Roman Reigns look that much bigger than by beating a 16-time world champion? Those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions here on the Iceman's return YouTube channel. Haters hate. Likers like. Thumb me up. Thumb me down. Subscribe.
Peace out, everybody. See you all next time.